Hi guys, Alan from Wedding Fairs Yorkshire. We're uh, bringing today's episode of Grooms Thursday to you from Ashworth and Bird over in Wakefield. We're here with Emma, the department manager for the highway, who is going to show us how to put on a buttonhole. Thanks, Emma. Alan. So most wedding suits will have a workable buttonhole. We just pop, pop the flower in there like that. At the back, if it's long enough, you should have these little loops that you can just tuck it into. If not, that's when you use a pearl headed pin. You don't want to see that pin on the other side, so we just carefully slot it through the fabric like that. And it should sit nicely. Fantastic, very nice. Notice that you put the flower in quite easily there. I think we've all had a suit at some point where the actual buttonhole has been sewn up so you, you're yeah. not able to access it. Yeah, so if you've hired your suit, a lot of companies will want you to unpick that. Um, if it's your own suit, obviously you can you can do as you please, you can unpick that. Um, so if that were the case, you would just sit your flower on top and then again, just pop your pin in through the back and loop it across the flower. Fantastic. And you actually don't advise that you have a pocket square with this? I wouldn't personally, just because it's quite a minimal look. Um, everything's on one side, so it can look a little bit top-heavy. Um, but it's personal preference. It's an add-on sale for a lot of companies. Um, but it's, it's entitled to the individual, but I sometimes think less is more. Yeah. Emma, thank you very much. Over at Ashworth and Bird, showering it down to a florist. Thank you for providing the, the buttonholes themselves. We hope you enjoy Groom's Thursday.